Okay, girls, let's continue our sulfur subject. We will pass sulfur oxides. Uh, we know two sulfur oxides. We know two sulfur oxides. It's a sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide. Okay, let's write their names. Sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide. Okay, both of them, both of them, acidic oxides. What does it mean? They mean they can react with the basic oxide and bases. As let me remind you that um, acidic oxide consists of non-metal and plus oxygen like uh, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide they are all non-metals basic oxide it's metal plus oxygen ok so they are both of them acidic oxides let me write the sources of these two uh, oxides let me write sources of sulfur oxides let me write you three sources first source is a uh, natural volcanoes this is a source of sulfur oxide second it's a human source Uh, and most of them, of course, it's electric power companies. Okay. Third, it's a wood smoke. This is the main three sources of sulfur oxide. Okay, uh, so let me pa let me pass to the sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide, SO two. Sulfur dioxide. Let me write its property. It's a toxic gas. It's a toxic gas. High concentration. Can. Result. In. Breathing. Problems. With asthmatic. children also it can cause uh, allergies allergy it can cause allergy okay uh, this oxide sulfur dioxide make may cause acid rain as girls you may have heard of this acid rain uh, the main one of the uh, precursors of acid rain is sulfur dioxide what is an acid rain let me write you acid rain describes any form of precipitation precipitation with high levels of nitric and sulfuric acid okay what does acid rain do okay acid rains 
what they do first acidify soil lakes and go on second accelerate corrosion of buildings and monuments okay what about physical property of sulfur dioxide physical property it's a colorless gas with pungent odor this pungent odor it dissolves in water so let me read re write the reaction when it dissolves in water sulfur because it's acidic oxides acidic oxides react with let me write you acidic oxide let write in the like this plus any example of water will be acid girls you have to memorize this. acidic oxide plus water it will be uh, acid basic oxide plus water will be base we'll learn it later mm, acid oxide is sulfur dioxide plus water it will be this acid the name of this acid is sulfurous acid sulfurous acid okay uh, let me show you the picture of a strain I said that it can uh, it can cause by two nitric acid as you see here and sulfuric acid okay we have here manufacture like uh, something uh, producing two gases human source sulfur dioxide here and nitrogen oxide they go and react with water as you see here and here so it will be nitric acid and sulfuric acid after that it snows or rains or acid particles of gases okay because of that this acid reacts with metals and it's making corrosion okay now let's pass to the uh, second oxide it's a sulfur sulfur trioxide or the formula is SO3 SO3 uh, in at room temperature at room temperature sulfur trioxide is liquid it's a liquid uh, solution solution of sulfur trioxide in the sulfuric acid is called is called oleum O L E U M oleum okay now it also dissolves in water dissolves in the water so let me write the reaction again to this acidic oxide plus uh, water and it will be acid so if you write here acid oxide it's like will be SO3 plus water and it will be yes the most important acid in chemical industry S sulfuric acid just write it 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, we can also convert from the sulfur dioxide to the sulfur trioxide. Okay, we can add some oxygen to the sulfur dioxide and it will produce sulfur trioxide. In order to balance, you look here number two and here number two. Okay, now uh, you will see the video, uh, not the video, the picture, the uses of sulfur. Okay, you have to stop the video and copy these uses to your notebook. Thanks.